What's going on, Ghost and Roasted family? It is your boy, Daylin. And it is your girl, Stacy. And I have been promoted to your regional manager, guys. <laughs> you already know why we're here, and we're going to get straight to it. The name of the game is Ghost of the Roasted. You either are going to ghost these clips by saying that they are paranormal, or, or you're, you're going gonna... to roast them by saying they're not. And it don't matter why you say that they are not. It can just be a gut feel. You know somebody got mad at us? Really? They was like, y'all didn't like, y'all ghosted it just because you said the person didn't cut the light on fast enough? Yeah, that's a good enough reason <laughs> for me. You mean we roasted it? Yeah, we roasted it. Yeah, you said ghosted it. Yeah, you confused me on that one. Yeah, absolutely that didn't turn it on. <laughs> you had me confused. But you know what I meant, though. I mean, but still, we want to make sure that we're clear. You're right. You're right. So, yes, we did roast it because they didn't turn the light on fast enough. But they could voice their opinion and they could ghost it. Yeah. Which we, I'm sure they ghosted it in the comments. For sure. We and are talk shit, huh? We are. Did you just cuss? I'm sorry. Excuse me. I need You got to put. She got to put some money in the cuss jar. <laughs> she got to put some money in the cuss jar. Y'all, let's get to this first video for my baby. Get us banned from YouTube. <laughs> Already, you it's episode three and you already cussing. Here we go. Night watch. A security guard working at a factory in Mexico is confused when he meets a new employee that no one, not even his boss, has told him about. The next day, he complains to a co worker about the odd conversation he had, only to be told that there is no new employee. When they check the building's security footage, they are shocked. Tell me that's Mr. Billy Boy. We talking to somebody. Let's see, I would have fired him the next day. It's clear in the footage that the guard has a full on conversation with no one. He pulls out the chair next to him and waves for whoever he's talking to to come sit down. And that's not all, because did you see it? Right as the guard pulls out the chair, Ooh, a dark figure dang. with arms and legs seems to move past him and then disappear into thin air. Many believe that the security guard was talking to the ghost of an old employee who might have passed away at the factory. Maybe even someone who had a fatal accident on their first day of work. But is this a real ghost caught on camera or not? That is up to you to decide. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna ghost that one. I'm ghosting that one. I'm gonna ghost. It. He was too involved in the real conversation for that to be fake. And that shadow just sealed the deal. Yeah, I didn't catch the shadow at first. I didn't either until it was pointed out. That I got chills though when that shadow was pointed out. It was just too much. His interaction with whatever it was, it was too, too authentic. I didn't feel like he was faking. Hmm. Like the that man, shake. that man really thought he saw who he who he thought he saw. And pulled that chair out. Had a whole conversation. Now his hand was behind the back of that chair a little bit longer than it should have been. I was like, "Sir, are you flirting? Was it a female?" Was, you know what? It, whatever it might have yeah. been. He yeah, was, they didn't say. He was like, what, yeah. "Whatever his taste might have been, we ain't judging." I baby. mean, but his <laughs> arm was there, but it it came down. It wasn't there long. Yeah, it wasn't still. there that long. So there. somebody you just met, if I pulled up a chair for you, you just met me. And I know I'm fine. I know I am, baby. I know I am. <laughs> but listen, I pull up a chair. I tell you to sit down. As soon as you sit down, I hit you with one of these. And a couple seconds later, I do one of these again. That ain't he didn't do it twice. Okay, I guess I guess we didn't see the same video. I don't remember him putting his arm up there twice, Daylin. Oh, yeah, she gonna make me run it back. I know y'all don't want to see this video again, y'all. Because it was I, pretty straight to. to the point. We it's have definitely to, ghosted. But I, yeah, I want to. I, I did see it the first time. Let me and then he brought it. his arm down. Let me show you. Let me show you where I just felt like he was a little touchy feely. Okay, please. All right here with the ghost. Boom. He talking to my man or woman. Yeah, come on. 
on, baby. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm a boss around here. I can just stay in your hours. Come to the next big dad. Come to the next big dad. Yeah, right here. Up, oh, arm right up, arm, boom, arm again, boom. I feel like he was holding the chair. That's sexual harassment. No, it's not. He was holding the chair for to make sure the chair didn't slide from under the person. You don't know that person could have been uh, a little thicker. Ladies, the chair was gonna move. Ladies and gentlemen, if 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 you have experienced any of this type of activity at your workplace, please call us at uh, ghost of the roasted, uh, <laughs> dot com. He looked like he was holding the chair so the person could have a steady seat. Okay, all right, whatever. We can disagree on that one. Okay, fine. It's ghosted. It's On ghosted. to the next one. On to ghosted. That one's ghosted. That was a Definitely handsy, ghosted. that was a handsy real man. <laughs> <laughs> that was that that just was involved in a ghastly, ghostly experience. But that's okay. I'm not judging him. Maybe he was just popping game. What you think about this one, though? Sure. Popular urban explorer Colin from the YouTube channel The Bearded Explorer is traveling through France when he finds the perfect abandoned house to explore. The two-story house has been abandoned for years, and it seems that the former owner has left almost everything behind. Colin films his exploration as he carefully walks through the house to discover its secrets. He takes photos and videos for his social media and eventually leaves, satisfied that he has documented everything of note inside the house. But it isn't until he looks back at the footage later that he discovers that he had missed something while filming the outro for his video. Something very spooky. Can I get a ponytail? Right, guys, well, that is it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed oh, it. Please like and that? subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, the which is the Beard yeah. Export underscore. Also, go and check out the Facebook page. I'll always put all the pictures on Facebook, 10 of us from Instagram, and I'll see you on next week's video. Someone can be seen peeking out the window from behind oh. a curtain. That was a now, I have carefully watched Colin's entire uncut video, and there is absolutely no sign of anyone inside that house. From the moment Colin enters, no sound of movement can be heard. The only noise is from Colin himself as he wanders around the house. Even creepier, this is not the only strange thing that he captures on video during this visit. After he posts the video to YouTube, one of Colin's sharp-eyed viewers spots something truly bizarre. So we'll start with this one first because this one looks like it's got a lot of stuff inside and it has I've got some more photographs here. Look. The ceiling is completely covered in mold. Bit of condensation up in the corner again. And look at this, the cupboard completely filled with clothes still. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Look at that, it looks as if something's been climbing in. Oh God. I mean, and the bag just hit my leg. <laughs> I thought someone tapped my leg. Um, it looks as if something's been climbing in here and sleeping in here, maybe. Did you see it? Mm -hmm. In the reflection of a cupboard mirror in a bedroom, a pair of feet can be seen standing underneath the window curtain, almost oh, wow. as if someone is hiding behind the curtain. But when Colin pans the camera back towards the curtains, the mysterious feet are gone. Also, if we look back at the footage from a couple of minutes before, there were no feet there when Colin entered the bedroom. So, did the urban explorer accidentally capture not one, but two paranormal events on camera? Oh, wow. Let me know. You can watch this entire exploration and many more over on the YouTube channel, The Bearded Explorer. Hmm. That window was the wind, what did you say aggressive it, it was it, aggressive yes it was it was aggressive that was creepy and them little black feet they little black <laughs> them little black baby feet at the bottom of, <laughs> the they little, were not baby feet. the little black baby feet at Those the bottom were not of the, baby feet it was, but it was crazy because they were not there then they were they weren't like I'm ghosting this one too. I'm man. ghosting it. That, God, that's that's dang. two in a row that's ghosted. I gotta take a sip of my my Pellegrino. <laughs> you, my Pellegrino made you thirsty. <laughs> I'm I'm ghosting that one also. Absolutely. But please, <sighs> by all means, Pellegrino Pellegrino kick you right. Put here. in the comments whether you're ghosting or roasting and why.
Listen, but we've ghosted too. We too. We too. We we done hit y'all with a twofer today, y'all. Twofer. We done hit y'all with a twofer. The clips today have been pretty decent but, so far, I right? Mean, let me not give you credit yet. We still have a couple more to go, right? Don't you worry. I got something. You're going to give me credit. You're going to give me cash. You're going to give me cash ass for credit. Her mother and TikTok user has been noticing some very strange behavior from her daughter at their Texas home. One day, the toddler comes running out of her bedroom, terrified and refusing to go back. TikTok user Sierra is worried that something might have happened and checks the footage on her ring nanny cam. What she discovers shocks her to her core. The toddler stands in her room looking around and seemingly confused. Then a loud scream pierces the air, sending the little girl running for mommy. I know that's right. Sierra J. Casey says her daughter claimed that a quote woman screamed at her. But when she checked her room, she found no one there. Even creepier, previous videos show the toddler being scared in her room before, seemingly staring at someone that we can't see. Now, Sierra Casey believes she might have caught a ghostly encounter on camera, but worried TikTok viewers warn her that it could be something worse. A hacker accessing her ring camera. Just so is it a ghost caught on camera? or something even more terrifying. A real person watching and scaring a little girl in her bedroom. Listen, baby girl got the hell out of Dodge, okay? Say, <laughs> Those little legs were moving. I'm not mad at her. She knows how to react. Oh, That's one baby you ain't gotta be worried about. Listen, she was moving. Too okay. cute. Okay. I think someone, I mean, someone can hack into the ring camera. Yeah, they were talking about that. That's a thing that someone can hack into your ring camera. They were talking about that happening. So what that is still that's ghostly. That is. That's that's yeah. crazy. And then they scaring that baby. So we don't think we don't think it's nothing supernatural. I don't. I don't think it is. Okay. Because I mean, you can hack into it from but we think this is a real occurrence we're just saying it's not supernatural yes it's this absolutely happened to that baby that baby didn't them little legs weren't moving for nothing okay. somebody was screaming at her okay through the night or whenever it happened i just don't think it's supernatural she said the woman screamed at her she did I mean, that Curveball. sounded like a woman's scream, did it not? No, you, you make a very solid point. Y'all, I'm going to, because I think the baby, if the baby can acknowledge, run, all of that, I think she will be able to say the camera, point at the camera. True. I'm going, I'm going ghosted and I'm going poltergeist. You, you definitely made a, a very valid point. She's if, if if she did say the lady screamed at me. But I make valid points because I am what? The regional manager. That's why you get to win these t-shirts. Because <laughs> I'm just I just understand paranormal. That's what I do with me and my Pellegrigio. Pellegrigio. Is Pelle Pellegrigio a sponsor for today? They need to be. The way that you keep saying it. Hey, listen, guys. Pelleg There's no water like Pellegrinio. Come on. Greenio, that is not how you say that. Pellegrino, listen, y'all don't y'all don't care. Come on now. Pellegrino, but listen, guys, you gonna you gonna get up here? Um, I think. What you think? <laughs> <laughs> it's ghosted, y'all. We're gonna get out. We're gonna get out of here so we can make axle number two. If you know what I mean? There will be axle number one, <laughs> one only. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm honestly I'm going with I'm going with ghosted. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I changed my mind. I'm gonna ghost it. I, I really think that little since girl can see something on in her she room. She absolutely heard and saw something since she said that lady screamed at me. Yeah, for sure. I'm going with it. I'm right. Jimena Barone, an Argentine star with more than six million Instagram fans, usually posts glimpses of her daily life as she travels, acts, and sings. But one day she posts a video on her Instagram story that is very out of character. The video is security footage that shows Jimena hanging out at her friend's house in Argentina. Something happens that Jimena says still gives her chills 
to this day. What happened? Jimena says she felt something forcibly touch her back. She jumps up and turns around, expecting someone to be there, perhaps playing a prank. There's no one. But did you see it? Well, probably not, because this video looks like it was shot with a potato. Right. But after posting the video to Instagram, Jimena's worried fans pointed out that in the video, they see two ghostly hands grabbing at her head and right shoulder. Oh, Jimena oh, says that she is shocked and doesn't know what to do other than to just move on and try to forget. Since then, Jimena has never posted anything more about the paranormal. What is a potato? Uh, a spud that comes out the ground that you eat really good with sour cream and cheese. Well, no, Some people I stuff it with barbecue. Stop it. Oh, he I'm... said that the video was filmed by a potato. I thought maybe it was a certain kind of camera or something. Why would he say a potato? Why would he use that analogy? Stacy. <laughs> No, I really want to. Now you can have these people talking about my wife. Now I got to sit up here and defend you in comments. <laughs> I got to defend you in comments. <laughs> I've never heard that analogy before. Why would you say it was filmed by a potato? Stacy? because when, when anytime footage is blurry or something, you, uh -huh. you, you use a random object that's not a camera. So you're like, that look like they filmed that with a microwave. Oh, they look like they filmed that with oh, a potato. I'm sorry. No, oh, they no. look like they filmed that with a with a... I'm really thinking it's a certain type of camera or or home video something. <laughs> Sorry. God. You are a reflection of me <laughs> and I am a reflection of you. And right now we are not looking the strongest <laughs> as a team. <laughs> and you're snorting. Guys, we got to get up out of here, y'all. This episode has been all over the place. <laughs> no, but what you think about that no, one? No, I think it's ghosted. You think so? The way she got up so quick and looked around like something grabbed her. And them little nubs that, <laughs> came, that came over. That's aggressive to grab shoulder and neck. And then no one to be there? Like she moved. Wow. So all of these were ghosted. All four. All four were ghosted today. But please let us know your thoughts. Please, y'all, because it can go either way. Because that last one could have been Photoshop. It could have. But Which, I'm going with Ghosted just from her reaction and movement. But she's an actress. So. And was, right. And it was shot on a, on a what? It was shot on a TV. A potato. <laughs> Guys, I never heard that analogy. please let us know in the comic session what videos you thought were ghosted and which videos you thought were roasted. I'm about to get up here and have a long talk with my wife. Love, <laughs> love, love. Thank you for tuning in, guys. We'll catch you next time. Bye.